With its engineer that springs We must make the run successful Hello everybody, this is your true evangelist, Willie Grizzle, coming to you live from the House of Prayer Radio Ministry. This is the night. You know, you don't have to be alone. We just gotta ride that railroad of life. So, stay tuned. Maybe it's something the Lord shared with me to share with you tonight that will put you back on the rails. Amen? So keep on praying. The service will be starting shortly. Thank you and God bless. Upon the rail, blessed Savior, that will guide us till we reach that blissful shore where the angels wait to join us. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is yours truly, the evangelist Willie Grizzle, down here at the House of Prayer Radio Ministry, coming live, hot, tired, but in charge. Amen. Praise God. I'd like to introduce Brother Greg Dotson in the chat room. Hello. He's making fun of me and my little typing up there. I says, hello, all. And he says, wee. Hello, brother. Praise God. Love you, bro. How you doing? I uh, hope you're doing fine today. Please pass uh, the service on today. You know, so many people give up on the flight of prayer. Amen. They've been praying for somebody for so long and doing this and that and the other. It don't seem like it ever touched them. But let me tell you something. Every time you send a prayer up, God deals with that prayer. Praise God. So, brothers and sisters, today we're just going to worship God and we're going to talk about never giving up. See, God gives us the power. Praise God. The power of prayer. He gives the powers to put powers in our hands and lay hands upon the ones, the sick, of the deaf, the blind, even the mangled today, that they could be healed today. Praise God. See, like it says over here in Philippi 4.13, it says, I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. See, my, hand, my brothers and sisters today, you got to, you got to remember this. 
that we can't not do nothing on our own, but when you add Jesus Christ into the mix, my friend, there ain't nothing that you can't overcome. You can be delivered from drugs. You can be delivered from homosexual lifestyles. You can be delivered from depression. You can even be delivered from the ones that, that when you crave for snacks and stuff, God can deliver you from that. See, my friends, God can deliver you from all things. Praise God. So today I just feel good in spirit. And I just feel like the Lord is just all over me today. We're just going to talk about never giving up on prayers. Amen. See, prayers change things. You know, I got a little thing right here in the ministry up on the wall, up on the shelf. It says, prayer changes things. My sister-in-law gave that to me, oh, I say about five years ago. Praise God. And, uh... You don't know how many times that I've looked up on that sign and I said, thank you, Lord. See, my sister-in-law, she gave that to me when I was in a, in a down-and-out part of my life, and I was um, doubting God. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I, at one time, I doubted God. Now, why did God do this? Why does God do that? And the next thing I know, I got slapped upside the head. Amen. Praise God. He says, I do it because what? He loves me. See, he loves you too today. If you're lost and undone today, and... Um, you can't, don't know where to go, let me tell you something. God's got a plan for you today. All you got to do is surrender, my friend. See, Jesus Christ went that old rugged cross for you that you would, that's right, surrender where he could build you up. You know, like it says over here in Luke 137, for which God, for, for with God, nothing shall be impossible. See, my friend, you got to put the element of God in your life. You got to have that spark. You got to have that gumption to go and be out and do the Father's business. Praise God. You know, just like um, um, I was having problems about getting music and getting people to come in, and I kept on praying. I kept on praying. I kept on praying. But you know, you know, that old little doubt come in my mind. Oh, Willie, nobody's paying no attention to you. Nobody wants to hear you. Nobody. And you know, that's the old devil. He's just running his chop at me. Praise God. But you know, I was patient enough. I let God be God. And next thing I know, we got people coming in on Wednesday. We got Brother Thomas uh, Scruggs coming in singing. We got Brother Steve been faithful every Wednesday to come in and bring a word. Praise God. And then, you know, I'm blessed beyond compare. Amen. And you know, my wife, she's feeling better. I thank you all for praying for her. She, uh, she's been having a lot of issues with, uh, controlling her feet she, if you asked her she said the only issue she's got is me but anyways praise God uh, <laughs> but you know uh, I love her to death praise God so brothers and sisters I want you to listen to this testimony today I want you to uh, remember brother Boyd in prayer praise God that uh, God will strengthen sanctify and seal him and get him ready for the day of redemption amen so brothers and sisters enjoy this testimony Hello, Brother Willie. I love you, and I'm praying for you. God bless you. This is Brother Boyd, London, in Idaho, and uh, thanks for doing all the programs. All those programs are so good, and the Lord's told me they can help a lot of people, and they really can. Thanks for having the testimony line going. I'd like to encourage people to call one two seven zero six eight one eight zero nine eight. Share your testimony. Share your prayer. Ask for prayers. They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. And the Lord has told me these testimonies can help people, and every time I hear the programs and hear these testimonies, they all help me out also, and we thank you, Brother Willie, for the prayers for all of us here, uh, I have been having some problems uh, with my food allergy problems this week, and the prayers have been helping me, praise the Lord, and my mom, Jerry, has been having some heart problems, and they may need the procedure done, but the prayers have been helping her also, my mom, Jerry, sends her love to you all, as well as my sister, Ann London, who has that schizophrenia, and she's bedridden, weighs about 550 pounds, we're trying to work so she can have a diet and lose weight, so thanks for keeping Ann in prayer also. I just want to do a worship the Lord with you here. Psalm 96 says, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. For great is the Lord and most worthy of praise. He is to be feared above all gods. For all the gods of the nations are idols, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and glory are in his sanctuary. And just think about this. Our God is an eternal God, and he's holy and righteous. And he's uh, been dwelling in the spiritual realm. He's been there forever. Even before the universe was created, God was there. He's a, an eternal God that will dwell forever and ever. And he doesn't, time does not bound him. He never dies. 
but from his eternal dwelling place, he spoke the earth into existence, the universe, the stars, made the physical universe also, and all that exists. And there's a scripture that says, when men see the stars, the earth, and all the creation of God, they are without excuse that our God exists. And that is true. When you look at the stars in the night sky and look at the oceans, the rivers, the trees, the clouds, the water, the earth, you know that we have an incredible and amazing God. There's angels that minister to the stars, to the upkeep of the stars. There's angels that minister to the clouds, that have the clouds go around and water the earth to make rain, to feed the forests and the trees, and then to make for the trees and all those different things to make fruits and stuff and the vegetation to feed the animals. Our God is an incredible, amazing God. And let's not forget to turn our hearts and lives over to God and over to Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for your sins, and he loves you. Jesus can heal you from sins and sicknesses and diseases. Let's not forget to praise and magnify our God each day. God bless all. It stood in the desert with God's chosen ones. It stood when He sent His beloved Son on the Isle of Patmos, unveiled by John. God's word will stand. 
No matter what the world comes against you, no matter how many push people push you around, you got to stand on your faith. Amen. See, when all else fails, I praise God that you know there's a man upstairs, up in heaven, on the right hand of our Lord God, that is watching over you, that is waiting for your prayers. You see, my friends, you can't give up praying. Because so, so many people, you know, I got a testimony about that. Praise God. You know, I pay, prayed for my brother for 10 years. I preached to my face turn blue to my brother. Amen. But you know what happened? He watched a movie of the Ten Commandments on TV. Amen. And it wasn't no, uh, no singing, no congregation, no fellowship. And it wasn't none of that that brought him to God. It was God himself. Amen. See, his Ten Commandments come upon my brother's heart. And he seen, he knew he was wrong. He knew he was undone. He knew he needed something to touch his heart. And it was Jesus. Amen. So my brother went out. He, he's been in a wheelchair for almost uh, going on ten years now. Praise God. And... Um, he rolled out there behind his truck, all right, on his bumper, on the bumper of his truck, and he, he was sitting there just crying. Well, my sister-in-law, uh, Sister Jean, amen, thought something was wrong. So she went out there and asked him, and, uh, Bud, what's wrong with you? And he says, I, I just can't do this no more. He says, I'm just going to give it to Jesus. And he accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior that day. And let me tell you something. That next day, I was on my way to Bible studies. Amen. Praise God down there at Old Liberty Lighthouse Mission. And uh, I got a phone call. Praise God. And my wife said, guess what Bud did last night? I said, there ain't no telling about Bud. He said, he's surrendering. Give his life to the Lord. And boy, when I heard that, I just jumped out. Just jumped so high, I thought I could touch the clouds. But my friends, that's how true God is. No matter if you don't think you're not doing nothing, and you don't think that there's no process going and you're ain't being fruitful, let me tell you something. You keep on praying. You keep on churning for the Lord. Let me tell you something. He'll do things in your life that you'll never, you've never seen before. He'll make ways for you that you didn't think it was imaginable. But you know, praise God. We just got to walk with Jesus. We got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Sometimes we just got to hold on to me. Amen. So brothers and sisters, we got to hold on to Jesus. Enjoy this song here. Sometimes I got to hold on to me. At first when I heard of some people who say That old time religion is real I said I'll go down, take a look at the crowd For it's just a weak mind that I feel I walked up the steps and peeked in at the door The devil said, don't you go in I said, it won't hurt me I'll just step inside And sit as far back as I can They sang like they meant it with all of their hearts I said it's emotion That's all When they get down to pray I'll just get up and leave I don't want to be seen Here at all The preacher got up And he started to preach as he looked right straight down at me He told everybody just how mean I was Didn't talk like he thought so much of me But something got a hold of me, of me. Yes, something got a hold me. I went there to fight, but oh my, that night, God certainly got hold 
of me I sit in my seat Just a thinking it o'er And then they all started to pray The fire fell from heaven I knelt to the floor I prayed there as God had his way At last now I know That I don't need to doubt I got an experience that night I'll never forget it As long as I live I found that salvation is right Yes, something got hold of me Of me Yes, something got a hold of me I went there to fight But oh my, that night God certainly got hold of me Praise God, praise God You know I just like the moment that, uh, well, hold on, whoa, whoa, hey, stop, hold on, chill there a second, praise God, praise you, got my player going faster than I want it to go, hey, man, you know, like a moment, the Lord touched me, praise God, let me, I want to give my testimony today, you know, I was back out in the world about five years ago, praise God, and, um, uh, and, I was out chasing women, fornicating, adultery, and lying, and thieving, and I, and I, and I, but I know Jesus, amen, I said I know Jesus, well, oh yeah, I could quote your scripture, and I could tell you anything you wanted to know about God, but I wasn't living for God, and praise God, I was a backslider, I was one of the back, worst backsliders you've ever known, amen, but you know, Lord had to put a brain aneurysm in my brain to get, nearly kill me, me to come back to him. See, I was out here in my car, and I was smoking a cigarette, and I was listening to some ACDC, and uh, I was just having a good old time, and I uh, accidentally dropped my cigarette. All right. I reached over to pick it up, and it felt like somebody hit me with a two-by-four. I fell out of that car, and I started crawling and crying and moaning and groaning, and you know what's the first thing I mentioned? Oh, Lord. That's the first thing that come out of my mouth. And this is what he told me. He said, you'll serve me this very day, or you shall die and go to hell. And that's what he told me. See, Lord don't give us, sometimes he gives us an opportunity, sometimes he just takes us out. See, I, that's why the Lord has called me to preach the gospel to all the world and all creation. You know, see, today we got to understand that we're on bar time. Amen. Just look around, my friend. Look at the way the world is right now. Praise God. You got people um, calling good evil, evil good. And you got people laying down with each other. They're using their bodies in unnatural ways. I see, my friends, today we got to look back about what the Word of God says. See, we got to stand up on the Word of God. We can't just be playing games and saying we're going to get into heaven in any way or any fashion we want to. You know, like Brother Steve brought the Word yesterday. That the only way through to the gates of heaven is through Jesus Christ. So see that 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 precious name, Amen. That precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ is the only way that you're going to get to heaven. Now you might think you're going to get it some other way, but let me tell you something, my friend. We need to understand who has the power. See, our Lord Jesus Christ has the power. We're just nothing but stewards of His will, Amen. We need to be on the battlefield today, brothers and sisters, and battle back the evil one, the lawless one. You know that old antichrist spirit, that old evil doer, praise God? See, we got to stand up and proclaim the word of the gospel to the lost and dying world. Amen. You know, like it says over here in Jeremiah, For I know thou thoughts that I, that I think toward you, say, say the Lord, through uh, uh, thoughts of peace, not of evil, to give you uh, expecting in. See, my friend, we got to live our life in peace. But, you know, sometimes we got to 
and step up to that battlefield. Hey, man, see, my friends, there people is coming into our churches today and saying this is right and that's right. We can put homosexuals behind the bullpit and it's just fine. Let me tell you something. Abomination of God does not belong behind a bullpit. It doesn't belong near church singing, my friend. We need just to call out sin for what it is, sin, and rebuke it, amen? See, my friends, today we got our brothers and sisters out there today have fallen to the wayside because a lot of people want to get um, this opinionated, amen? They want to force God on you. See, that's why God gives us a for- free will. Praise God, he gives us free will to stand up and proclaim the word of God. Now, if you want to... Uh, here's some sugarcoating gospel. Well, you're on the wrong channel, so see you later. Bye. Amen. But you know, let me tell you something. The truth will stand when the world's on fire. And today, we need to get on that battlefield. That's right, my friend. Get on that battlefield for Jesus, because he is coming. He's coming back quick. But what is he coming back to? Is he coming back for us? A bunch of uh, whiny Christians, or is he coming back for one that's been true and strong? So, brothers and sisters, listen to the song from the Kingsman, Battle Cry. Can you hear the battle cry? Who is on the Savior's side? Help us lift the blood-stained banner high. Can you hear the a time to rise up like an army take our weapons in our hands the Lord victorious goes before us do not be afraid oh can you hear the battle cry who is on the Savior's side help us lift
Amen. The battle cry. That's what we both be doing, my friends. We ain't both be whining, crying, hiding behind a tree because the devil's beat on us and he's cussed us out and he's done this and that and he's used brothers and sisters against us. Hey, we need to hold that banner up. Amen. The banner of truth, the righteousness, and the word of God. Amen. You know, praise God, like it says over here in First Thessalonians. Praise God. First Thessalonians 5. 16 and 18, 16 through 18, it says, Rejoice evermore, pray without ceasing, and everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus, considering you, me, the whole world, my friend. See, when the people tear you down, they put you around and kick you to the dirt. Let me tell you something. God's there to pick you up and dust you off. My God. You know, praise God, the loved ones, Love you so much that they'll pray for you. But you know your enemies will come at you with a double-edged sword. You know that evil sword they have too. To cut you down, to degrade you, and put you uh, in the dirt. Let me tell you something. God created that dirt, and if he can make you from dirt, he can build you up and make you a new pot today. Amen. See, he can put you on a potter wheel. He can cleanse your sins away, my friend. All you got to do is surrender. Praise God that the day is the day of salvation. You don't have time to worry about other people's opinions. See, my friend, you what time you got is this. See, we got time to help someone that's hungry or help somebody that needs food or some uh, be a tender ear or a tender shoulder to listen to somebody's troubles. See, we ain't got time to be fighting among each other because that's that's what we've been doing for years and what what fruitful is that i mean come on now think about this you know a lot of people wants to fight and argue well that ain't what that verse means that ain't what this verse means well let me tell you something god's word will stand when all falls away praise god see today we need to stand up and proclaim the word of god like it says over here in second chronicles fifteen seven. Be ye strong, therefore, and let not your hands be weak, for your work shall be rewarded. You see, my friends, we got to, it's just like a soldier. When he goes into war, he don't go hiding behind a tree and start throwing darts at people. He comes in, he's coming to fight, my friend. And that's what we are, should be on the battlefield for Jesus Christ today. And I fight for his justice, his truth, and his love. Praise God. So, brother and sister, let's grab a song here. Uh, praise God from Old Path, amen. Oh, what a Savior.
And I just wanted to testify also the prayers have been helping us here. And thanks for the prayers. We'll be praying for all of you. And let's never forget to pray for each other. God bless all. When you've cried countless tears And nights are long When you've fallen below bottom Your last ounce of hope is gone You are not forsaken He has known your strife And promised with dawning Joy to fill your life He gives peace that covers all the pain in the middle of a hurricane When you feel forgotten And no one knows your name He gives peace that covers all clouds gather around you you can find the words to pray he is there beside you holding to your hand he will send a comforter through the storm you stand he gives peace that covers all the pain in the middle of a hurricane When you feel forgotten And no one knows your name He gives peace that covers all the pain It's a peace that you can't fathom It's a peace you can't explain Though you're broken and abandoned, His peace will take the hurt away. He gives peace that covers all the pain. He brings a calm in the middle of a hurricane. covers all the pain He gives peace that covers all Amen, amen. You know, praise God, when times are rough and we don't understand about what God have us to do, we got to remember that peace that he gave for us. You know, when he went up, he dragged that old tree up up that hill, praise God, that uh, we'd, he'd crucify himself for the sins of the world. Amen. See, my friends, you don't understand how much our Lord Jesus Christ has died for you. See, he died for your sins, he died for your sicknesses, he died for your depression, your, these crazy thoughts, these great imaginations that you have in your mind that thinks that God has told you to do this, and you know it's not right, but you do it anyways. See, my friends, like it says over here in uh, Romans eight twenty-eight, and it says, We know that all things work together for the good of uh, to them that love God, to them who are called according 
to his purpose. So see, we're, cor- we're a called to do his purpose. See, it all leads back to Jesus Christ. You see, my friends, now, when, you, when you're down in the out in this pity, Atlanta pity, see, you got to get up. See, man, you just can't sit there in the dirt and play with the flies. See, my friends, you got to get up and obey God. You know, now, it might look crazy to you, and you, it might think, you might think, well, this ain't going to work. Why is God telling me to do this? Just do it. Let me tell you something. It all leads back to Jesus Christ. Praise God. You know, like it says over here in Matthew 19, 26, but, uh, but Jesus is behind them, and he said unto them, With a man, there is, it is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And see, now man, man could set up a party, he could set up a singing, he could set up all the purity things of the world, but if you put God in it, things can change people's lives. Amen. A, a gentle word or a, a tender hug or a tender prayer could change somebody's outlook in life. See, my friends, when we're out and about doing the Father's business, we can't come in with a hammer and start busting people's heads up. See, my friends, you got to come in as gentle as Jesus did. He, You know, like it says over here, over here in um, Mark, um, Let's see, Mark 5, praise God. Mark 5, you know, there was a girl one time, amen, that her father, he was a uh, he was big religious kind of guy, amen. He was a certain kind of guy in the kingdom of the synagogue. And he, went, he came to Jesus one time, and he says, uh, uh, Master, she's already dead. Uh, that uh, There's no, no reason for you to come now. Well, but Jesus came anyways see my friends before we get into scripture there let's let's uh let's play one more song and then we're gonna have prayer and then i'm gonna bring scripture to you today that no matter when things look like it's dead or completed that god still on the working business amen so my friends let's listen to this song here uh god delivered me amen it's from barry Roland, amen it's from the album of the light so, brothers and sisters, if you'd like to check it out, hey, uh, go um, to uh, Amazon and check them out. they got an awesome band, and it's uh, some awesome songs. So, brothers and sisters, enjoy this song, God Delivered Me. The Spirit said, Satan said no, I struggled in my heart which way to go, God finally won, I called on his son, so that old deceiver must surely
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That's Barry Roller and the, the, called The Light. It's the album called The Light. Check it out on Amazon. There's some awesome singers. Boy, it, it just touches my heart. And I want to thank uh, Brother uh, Greg Dotson again for uh, helping me out in this ministry. You know, he's got his ministry, Consumed by Fire Ministry. He comes on at 5 o'clock every day, Monday through Friday. Praise God. Uh, won't you turn it in over there on him and you'll be blessed. I'll tell you this. I get the... I work a lot, and between me uh, working and uh, uh, doing, doing in my ministry and uh, God's ministry and uh, being out and helping others, I don't get much time, but I get to download it. Hey, man, that's awesome about speaker that uh, that you can download it and you can put it on CD or um, you can send a link to somebody and they can download it. But you know, I just want to. Uh, I don't want to lift brother. Uh, Dotson up there on the pedestal where the dart to the devil can hit him, but I just wanted to tell you that that I love you, brother uh, uh, Greg Dotson. Uh, you helped me out a lot in this ministry, and it saved me a lot of time and a lot of money. Praise God! Thank you so much. And uh, there ain't I, I don't even know what, any other words to tell you, my friend. But anyways, let's um let's get in the word. Amen. Praise God. Over here in uh, Mark five. Before that, let's go to prayer. Lord, of heavenly Father. We thank you so much for your love, your patience, and your understanding, Lord. We ask you, mighty God, let this word not go void, but come on to the ones that are brokenhearted, the ones that do not know you, Lord. We ask you, mighty God, that you touch them, you heal them, and you give them the strength to overcome what battle they are battling today, Lord. We ask you, mighty Jesus, that you come in the midst of us and stand before us, let us step down and let you step on the scene, Lord. In your holy name, Jesus, we pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Praise God. Like I said, over here in Mark 5, starting at the 36th verse, praise God. This is, this is a, a thing that, a miracle that God, our Lord Jesus Christ, did for a ruler of a synagogue. Praise God. And um, it starts like this, and it goes, Where he yet speak, speak they came from came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, a a sentence which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why thou trouble through the troubled me, master, any further? As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he said, On on to the ruler of the synagogue. Be not afraid, only believe. I'm going to stop there a second. You see, now, Jesus gave him something right there. He says, Don't be afraid. Uh, you, you're looking at a body. I'm looking for what's inside of it. Praise God. And he's talking about, he said, if you only believe, I'll show you my power and my father's power. Amen. Praise God. All right, let's go on head down here to, uh, verse 37. And he says, he suffered no man to follow him, save Peter, James, and John, and the brother of James. And he come into the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and seeing their interprets, and them that were weeping and wailing greatly. Now, you got to think about this scene he walked in on. Now, all these people, this little girl is laying on this bed, and they're thinking she's dead. That there's no help, nobody can help them, or nothing. And Jesus, now, now have, how many times you walked into somebody's house that somebody's passed away? Praise God. Now, let's, let's think about this. Let's analyze this for a moment. Praise God. That uh, everybody says, well, there's no hope. They're going to die. Now, I mean, I mean, they, they totally give up on them. Praise God. But Jesus had another plan. Praise God. Let's read on here. And he came into the house. Let's see. Uh, 30, no, 39. My bad. 39. And when he, he was came in and said on them, why make ye this odd and weep? The damsel, the damsel is not dead, but asleep. Now, he just made a bold statement there. Praise God. He just said that this child's not dead, just asleep. I'm going to show you something. Well, here comes a mockery. How many times have we been mockered? Amen. That God has told us to go do something. We go do it, and people say, well, that ain't going to happen. No, you foolishness. You're crazy. Well, this is what happened. And this, this is... How many of our brothers and sisters today are being treated. Praise God. And this is what it says. This is in uh, verse 40. I want you to underline that if you got the pencil and paper or a highlighter. Uh, underline that in your Bible. And he says, they laughed at him, scored. And, but when he, 
he had put them all out, he took the father and the mother and the damsel, and them were with him, entered into the damsel's was lying. You see, now, now think about what just happened here. God just rushed them all out. Well, you don't believe me. I don't need you here. I don't need your unbelief. See, that's the biggest problem with people today. If you want to see people to change, you don't have unbelievers among you. Amen. See, the power of God is greater than all the things of the world. See, my friend, like I said, he's ready now. He's already grabbed the mom, the dad, and walked in to this room where this little damsel was sitting, this little girl. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So, um, the four, verse 41, and it says, he, he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her, Tala, ta, Kalika, which is interpreted damsel, I say unto you, arise. Praise God. Well, guess what? The 42 verse says, and straight away the damsel arose and walked, for she was the age of 12. And when they astonished, there was great astonishment. All of a sudden, here this uh, ruler of the synagogue has just seen. She, he knew that the child was dead. No longer breathing. No heartbeat. Nothing. And he tried to tell Jesus, I, further, I don't want to further trouble you no more. But Jesus had a plan. He wanted to show them the great power of the God's glory. The resurrection of the power of our mighty master, Jesus Christ. Praise God. And all right, let's go on down here to uh, da, 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 43. And it says, he charged them straight, uh, straightly that no one should be should know it. Uh, command them to do that some, some things that should be given her to eat. You see, now, my friend... He didn't tell them to go out there and say, "Hey, look what I look what Jesus did." He told them, "Hush. Don't you be worried about this. Don't you go out there and tell these people that what just happened here." But you know, like if you read on a little farther in the scriptures there. Praise God, and he goes over here and he goes on to the 6th verse, the uh, 6th chapter. But you know, when you see something astonishment like that, praise God, you can't keep your mouth shut. But you know, but the motor of the story is this, is that Jesus don't give up on you. Amen? Praise God. He, uh, no matter what you say that, well, there's no further uh, need of your assistance. See, Jesus, he heard what he said, but he showed the power of God. Amen? Praise God. That he went in, and this little 12-year-old little girl laying there on that bed, everybody... Give her up to death. Amen. But Jesus said, she's not dead. She's asleep, my friend. But all oh, here comes mockeries and scoffers and all this and that and the other. Well, Jesus just pushed him to the side. He said, I don't need you unbelief. I'm going to show you my power. So he did. He grabbed the mother and he grabbed the father. And he walked into that room where the little damsel was laying. And he grabbed her hand. How many people today need a little touch of the that are dead is dead and spiritually dead in their life. They need a little touch from God. See, my friends, you all you got to do is reach out today and grab that hand of the Lord, and He can bring life into you, my friend. See, my friends, that's why I go out every day and try to do a good deed for somebody to help somebody in this walk of life. Because one day we're going to all leave this earth. And I want to see you on the other side of the kingdom of God. Amen. I want you to be around God's throne just singing and praising and worshiping his holy name. Not my name. Not the house of prayer ministry's name. I mean Jesus Christ's name. Amen. See, my friends, I'm, I'm not looking for a fight. I'm just looking to make it my way home. Amen. So, brothers and sisters, today, I, the motor of the story in the sermon today is don't give up on God. Because he ain't giving up on you. Don't give up on praying. Because your prayers just hours or minutes or days away. Like I said, my brother, one time he, uh, I've been preaching to him of uh, 10 years. Okay? But it took a TV show watching the Ten Commandments to him to give his life to the Lord. So my friends, don't give up. You plant the seeds. You next to somebody down the road, water it. Lord Jesus Christ 
will nurture it and he'll grow up amen praise god so this is yours truly the evangelist willie grizzle from the house of prayer saying god bless you all thank you all for tuning in and remember that jesus died on that rugged cross for you that you could be free. Don't feel like a black sheep. Because every time somebody puts you down. Remember that God loved you enough. That he sent his only begotten son to die for you. This is yours truly. The Evangelist Willie. Peace be out. Well hold on. <laughs> it jumping around on me. Praise God. Amen. So um, you got to love a lot. Here we go. Here's a song for you from uh, Stone... Uh, Stonewall Jackson, Black Sheep, amen. It's from the album Jesus, Where Jesus Walked, amen. So, brothers and sisters, if you like these songs and if you like the sermon today, please leave your comments. Please give me a, a call on 270 681 But I would like to pray with you, pray for you, and maybe one day somewhere down the road we can worship and praise God together, amen. So this is Be Yours Truly, the evangelist Willie Grizzle from the House of Prayer saying, Love you guys. God bless. In a little country village, not very far away, there lived a rich but aged man. His hair was turning gray He had three sons, three only ones Both Jack and Tom were sly But Ted was honest as could be He would not tell a lie The brothers tried to run Ted Before the old man's eyes At last the clock began its work Till Ted was much despised The father then said be gone You're heartless to the core and Then the black sheep's words they came Just ringing through the door Don't be angry with me dad Don't drive me from your door I know that I've been wayward but I won't be anymore Just give me one more chance And to put me to the test You'll find the black sheep loves his dad Far better than the red Year by year, sped quickly by The father now grown old He calls to them both Jack and Tom And gave them all his gold I only need a little room A place at your fireside One night on Jack's returning home He brought with him a bride The three began to hate the father More and more each day at last he heard the three declare Why that old fool's in our way They then agreed to send him to A poor house that was near But then the like of flash The black sheep's words Came ringing in his ear A wagon drives up to the door It is the poor house band the brothers pointed to their dad Right there is your man And then a manly form appeared Came rushing through the crowd Stop this you brutes, the lad replied It shall not be allowed You've took the old man's property And all that he could save You've even sold that little lot containing mother's grave. I am his son, but not your kin from now till judgment day. The father clasped the black sheep's hand 
And they all heard him say Don't be angry with me, son I know I drove you from my door I know that I've been foolish, lad And I repeat it o'er and o'er I should have given you my gold For you have stood the test I found the black sheep loves his dad Far better than the red 